Well, Iron Banner is back this week and we've got a returning game mode and some new loot. Well, today I'm going to cover the complete guide for Iron Banner, including how to get started, how to earn Iron Banner loot, how to find those Iron Banner challenges, plus check out the God Roll weapons that you should be chasing this season, plus also have a look at the Iron Banner title. Well, if you're new around here or find this useful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below for all the latest Destiny 2 content and turn on notifications by hitting that bell and roughly 95% of viewers that watch this week in video games aren't subscribed, so subscribe today and never miss an update. So without further delay, let's dive right into things and first of all, we've got how to get started in Iron Banner. Well, Lord Saladin is coming back to the tower tomorrow and that means it's Iron Banner week. So you can find Lord Saladin front and centre in the tower when you land in the courtyard. And Iron Banner is free for all players, so if you haven't played Iron Banner before, then there is a quick introduction quest to go through, but you only have to do this once per account. So when Iron Banner is on, you can access it via the Crucible section in the Director, and Iron Banner is going to be front and centre when you select the Crucible. Also, it's worth noting that Trials of Osiris is not around when Iron Banner is available. Well, to get the most out of Iron Banner, you want to play Iron Banner matches to get XP. So with this XP, you're going to level up at Lord Saladin in the tower. Then you want to get Iron Banner engrams through leveling up or as random drops at the end of matches. Then you want to either decrypt your engrams as per normal or trade in your Iron Banner engrams with Lord Saladin. Iron Banner is objective-focused PvP with a rotating game mode each season, although this time we've got a rotating game mode each time Iron Banner rolls around, but more on that a little bit later. Basically, you want to play matches, level up, get those Iron Banner-themed weapons and armor, plus the Iron Lord title. Okay, next up, let's have a look at when Iron Banner happens. So Iron Banner is happening more in Season of Defiance compared to last season, so this time... Iron Banner is coming around about three times rather than two times per season with the first instalment of Iron Banner kicking off on the 21st of March 2023 at reset time. Iron Banner is then going to run in upcoming weeks in the season including week 6 and that is going to be the Eruption game mode and week 9 and that is going to be the Fortress game mode. If you're wondering, Iron Banner this week, well that is going to go back to the classic Control game mode so, really, really looking forward to jumping into Iron Banner this week. Okay, next up, let's have a look at the Iron Banner game mode. So, in Witch Queen, Iron Banner did some little experiments with game modes, including Rift, Eruption, and Fortress. All of them, though, are objective PvP game modes. Well, this season, we're going to have rotating game modes throughout the season, including regular control, we're going to have Eruption, and we're going to have Fortress. Rift has been removed from the rotation of Iron Banner, and that's been relegated to a regular rotating playlist mode, which, to be honest, is probably a good move. But let me know down in the comments your favourite Iron Banner game mode. Is it Control, is it Eruption, or is it Fortress? Well, next up we've got Iron Banner Challenges. So challenges are available for Iron Banner, and you can find these by hovering over the Iron Banner node in the Director. For example, when Iron Banner was last around, it was complete Iron Banner matches with Void or Stasis subclass. And it's probably going to be a little bit different this time. But what you want to do is find the Iron Banner node via the director. So go to that director screen, select Crucible, hover over Iron Banner, and there you will see your Iron Banner challenges. So complete Iron Banner challenges and you're going to earn powerful upgrades to help you level up. And completing Iron Banner challenges also gives you an XP boost so on the first day of Iron Banner, you will only see one challenge, and then as you complete the challenges, more challenges get released each day at reset time, and each challenge offers you a pinnacle reward that will help you level up. And you can see which XP boosters are active when you select the Iron Banner game mode, and you can see that when you're loading into a match, it's on the left-hand side. Okay, next up, let's have a look at how to earn Iron Banner loot. So Iron Banner has a range of loot on offer, including weapons, armor, and the coveted Iron Lord title. So Lord Saladin is our Iron Banner vendor. You can find him in the tower near the courtyard landing zone. By playing Iron Banner, you can rank up with Lord Saladin, and each time you rank up, you're going to earn Iron Banner engrams and also powerful upgrades as well. Play Iron Banner to earn XP and get as many Iron Banner engrams as you can, and then Iron Banner engrams can be decrypted 
at Master Rahul in the tower for Iron Banner loot, or you can focus your Iron Banner engrams with Lord Saladin himself, but do be aware this can be a costly business regarding legendary shards. And also this season we've got the newly introduced legacy focusing so you can get legacy weapons and legacy armor sets as well. This is really, really exciting. I'm going to go into more detail on this in a moment. Okay, next up we've got the Weapons God Roll Guide. So we've got a couple of weapons coming back. Yoram's Claw, that is a pulse rifle, and Bite of the Fox. That is a sniper rifle. So Yoram's Claw, first of all, it's a legendary energy pulse rifle with an adaptive frame, meaning it's got a well-rounded grip, it's reliable and it's sturdy. Looking at the stats, we've got 29 for impact, 49 for range, 50 for stability. 44 for handling, 43 for reload speed, 10 for airborne effectiveness. It's a 390 RPM pulse rifle with 38 in the magazine. For PvE, Outlaw and Incandescent would be good. So it's a solar energy weapon, so Incandescent, always good for PvE content. And then for PvP, Moving Target and Head Seeker, that would be a decent roll. Well, then we got the Sniper. This one is Bite of the Fox. It is an acquired taste, this Sniper. It's not as fast as other snipers as it is an aggressive frame sniper meaning it's got high damage and high recoil it's got 90 for impact 73 for range 28 for stability 32 for handling 32 for reload speed it's a 72 rounds per minute sniper with three in a magazine for pvp snapshot sights and moving target be good and for pve rampage and rapid hit is something you should look out for well, in terms of the other loot you can also get the dark decider that's an auto rifle the ganora's axe it's a shotgun. Roar of the Bear. That's a rocket launcher. The Wizened Rebuke. That's a fusion rifle. The Allied Demand. That is a sidearm. And the Hero's Burden. That is a very, very good SMG. So the Wizened Rebuke is definitely a good one to look out for. It's a very, very good fusion. The Allied Demand sidearm. Likely to get some good use in the Crucible this season. The way things are for sidearms in this meta. And also the Hero's Burden as well. That is a very, very tasty SMG. Okay, next up, let's have a look at the armor guide. So this season, we do continue with the very popular set of Iron Banner armor from the Taken King era of Destiny 2. So this season, also, we've got some options as we can focus legacy armor sets through our legacy focusing. And I'm going to dive into legacy focusing next. Okay, so Iron Banner legacy focusing. This is a new feature for this season. And this is the ability to focus legendary gear. That includes weapons and armor. So... The weapons for Legacy Focusing include Archon's Thunder, we've got Reese Walker, the Occluded Finality, Forge's Pledge, Peace Bond, and the Frontier's Cry. From all these weapons, I would say Reese Walker is a good one to look out for, and also the Peace Bond sidearm as well. And then we've got the Iron Banner armor sets available for Legacy Focusing. We've got loads of armor here, so Iron Forerunner, Iron Will, Iron Trorge, Iron Fellowship, and Iron Remembrance. So... We've got five armor sets there in the Legacy Focusing, as well as the main armor set that we're going to get from playing Iron Banner. We can access the Iron Banner Legacy Focusing options by chatting with Lord Saladin in the tower and checking out the Legacy Focusing menu. So finally, we've got the Iron Lord title, and I wear this one really proudly all the time. You can find that on the Titles and Seals page. So this one is going to be a grind, including resetting your Iron Banner rank twice with Lord Saladin, However, I reckon it is one of the best titles to get in the game. It allows you to show off your dedication to Iron Banner and also Lord Saladin himself. Well, that is about it for the rundown for Iron Banner in Season of Defiance. But let me know in the comments what you think of Iron Banner this season. Now, what do you think of Control and are you looking forward to Legacy Focusing? That is a massive new feature. Really, really exciting stuff. Well, that is it for this Iron Banner guide in Season of Defiance. And as always... Thank you so much for watching or listening, and for more Destiny 2 content like this. Hit that subscribe button down below and subscribe to This Week in Video Games, or you can check me out on Twitter at TWIVG Podcast. If you enjoyed this video, found it useful, liking and sharing the video would really help me out. Otherwise, check out other videos on the channel. Thanks again. I'll see you soon.